I'm David Myers. I'm a professor of Jewish history in the UCLA History Department. I also have the privilege of serving as chair of the department. This department is a source of pride for the university and in the historical discipline at large, uh, and that is why it is such a great privilege to serve as chair. I've been at UCLA uh, for 20 years and have been afforded the privilege of teaching Jewish history here during that time. Our department is one of the largest and best in North America. We have nearly 65 full-time faculty members, over 200 graduate students who are in 12 subfields, and we teach thousands of students every year. When I think back to my own path to the study of history, uh, I return to my uh, childhood home in a small city in northeastern Pennsylvania, Scranton, uh, and it was there that I really first encountered um, a interesting patchwork of ethnic groups uh, who intrigued me uh, intensely from my earliest years. Each of these groups had its own distinct rituals, customs, and narrative story that it told about itself. And I remember being very interested as a, as a young boy in the way in which these groups told the stories of their own origins and how they got to where they were. I came to Los Angeles and UCLA as uh, a kind of uh, wide-eyed uh, young man, uh, not knowing what to expect. In fact, if anything, I came armed with all of the stereotypes that any self-respecting East Coast person would have of Los Angeles uh, as a vast, empty wasteland. But what I discovered here was something quite different. I discovered here a cultural dynamism that did not resemble that which was familiar to me from the East Coast, a cultural dynamism that looked very different from uh, the East Coast, a cultural dynamism that, uh, that prompted me to renew my interest in the stories that uh, groups told about themselves because it involved new groups that I hadn't much familiarity with. Uh, and that, this was one of the great uh, virtues and benefits of coming to Los Angeles. It was here that I discovered the virtues of a great public university, a place whose doors were open to a spectacular diversity of students and a remarkable array of faculty and staff resources. What I particularly like about living and working in a great public university is the sense of public mission. We here in our department have a number of tasks. Our first task is to educate students, the thousands of undergraduates and the hundreds of graduate students whom we teach every year. We also have a strong commitment to creating an intellectually dynamic community where first-rate research can be undertaken that is renowned throughout the world. But what I think I really appreciate most uh, about our department uh, in its current uh, existence is its sense of commitment to serving constituencies on campus and beyond. We have uh, an active array of public programs intended to reach beyond campus walls. We engage in teacher tra training programs uh, that engage uh, community beyond campus walls. And our National Center for History in the Schools uh, really embodies that sense of public mission in providing curricula throughout the country and even the world uh, in uh, the field of history. We live in a period in which we are in desperate need of added historical perspective and nuance in order to understand the world, in order to understand the issues that gnaw at decision makers, and in, indeed in order to inform public policy. I turn to all who are interested in the study of history, all who recognize the importance of history in public debate and discourse and decision making, to join and become a supporter of the UCLA History Department and in so doing to enrich the society in which we all live.